What's up guys, Full Fit Larry here at Private Selection and here are five shoes you need to add to your sneaker rotation in 2023. forget to like, subscribe. We got a lot of exciting stuff going on this year. You want to be a part of it. And stay tuned to the end of the video as I might have a little something to give away to y'all. First shoe up, Jordan 1 Low. Now obviously we're not talking about this particular Zion being a shoe that you need in 2023. We're more so talking about silhouettes. So the shoes that you see on this list, if you don't already have them in your closet, these are the ones to add. Over time we'll be showing you guys how to style these things, putting together a lot of cool creative content to really dial in on how to do this right. Obviously one of my favorite shoes, everybody knows I love a Jordan 1 Low. Nike is pushing the envelope by giving you cooler styles and colorways than before. Make sure if it's a Jordan 1 Low, I highly suggest that it's one that has the Nike Air Tag, not necessarily the Jumpman, but these styles are the ones that you wanna look for to add to your closet. Obviously top tier styling, summertime shoe, even with the high socks, it's certainly something that's very versatile and you can wear it and style it in a lot of different ways. Personally. I'd pick a Jordan 1 Low over a Jordan 1 High any day. Uh, just in terms of the colorway, the simplicity of the style, I always find it to be a little more fitting for the outfit. Maybe it's because of just the, the way that I'm built, but at the end of the day, it's hard for me to pick a favorite when it comes to the Jordan 1 Low. I want to say I have nearly all of these as they fit almost every outfit and there's an application for each and every one. Obviously the Travis's are at the top of the list for me, but there's tons of these things that you can go and find that'll fit every everybody's budget. Next on the list is gonna be the Jordan 5 Low. This might seem kind of controversial to some of y'all, but at the end of the day, I'm more inclined to wear things that I'm not gonna see a thousand other people wearing that day. So I start to look towards other silhouettes and other shapes and things that I can style to kind of separate myself from the pack. So I'm easily adding the Jordan 5 Low. This shoe has definitely grown on me as we saw a few iterations over 2022. And now moving into 2023, this is definitely something I'm gonna have to bust out and start wearing a lot more. Some of my favorite colorways in the Jordan 5 Low are gonna be this Dornbecker. You also have the CNY as well as the Clot Jordan 5 Low. Definitely the ones on my list. For number three, we're going with the All White Air Force. Don't click out of the video yet, hear me out. Some of you younger sneakerheads may have skipped this phase. For people like me, this was an absolute staple for putting together a clean fit. This is something you need a fresh pair every week, an obvious staple for a lot of artists, musicians, and people that you watch on a daily. So if you skip this phase, you gotta, you gotta jump back in time a little bit. Make sure you get into the Air Force phase. Be careful with the black ones, but the all white is always gonna do you justice. And even going into 2023, it's still a hot shoe to wear on the streets won't let you down. Not only is this shoe a blank canvas, so you can kind of customize it and do whatever you want. Obviously, we've seen a lot of crazy customizations done with an Air Force, but Nike is also giving us a lot of cooler styles and iterations of this shoe. Drake has a version of this shoe that's got the hearts instead of stars. One of my personal favorites, along with the Supreme Air Force. Can't go wrong with that little box logo on the side. It always just kind of steps it up an extra notch, and that's how I rock. This one might also be quite controversial. The Jordan 2 Low. Let's just take a look at this thing. Obviously, colorway, quality, everything about this is premium. I hear a lot of negativity about the Jordan 2 in general, as well as the Jordan 2 Low, and I'm here to change that today. I'm gonna go through and have to put together a couple fits for y'all and style these properly so you guys can get an idea of how these are meant to be worn, and hopefully that'll help you guys out. 2023, Nike is giving you tons of colorways and iterations of this shoe, and it's better to figure out how to wear it and incorporate it into your life than hate on it on the internet and you know trash and bash people who do at the end of the day this is a beautiful shoe it was a Jordan 2 for a reason added to the collection there's so many colorways of these that you can wear and whether it's the low for the summer or you do the high during the winter there's plenty of colorways of these coming this year that you can rock with last year we got two really awesome versions of this shoe brought to you by Virgil and Nike the off-white Jordan 2 low it came in a red colorway red and white as well as a black and blue colorway those were certain Certainly two of my favorite pickups last year, and I plan on incorporating more of these into the rotation this year. Do a kickflip. Oh. All right, he did it. Last but not least, 
One of my personal favorites, you have the Nike Dunk Low SB. This is a staple and some of the skaters might get mad at me for putting people on, but at the end of the day, when it comes to Nike and creativity, this is where they collide the best. Some of the most creative minds behind these skate brands come together with Nike to create some of, arguably some of the coolest, most colorful, thoughtful, and creative shoes that we have in this store. If you're looking for comfort, you're looking for color, you're looking to stand out amongst the crowd, SB definitely has you. Now, these shoes are gonna be a lot harder to find in the market. You might have to pay a little more for them, but definitely a silhouette you should look to add. It's arguable that the regular Dunks, they got pushed very heavily in 2022. It's very common to see the Pandas and some of these other uh, colorways down here. So I want y'all to start looking at more of the creative stuff. You can find a lot of these SBs at very, very fair prices. And there's a lot of cooler ones that aren't going for nearly as much as they probably should. Whether you're looking at the P-Rod, which is on my feet, personal favorites, told you, all the way to the neck face, up to the Orange Lobster, you've got multiple iterations that come in different price points and colorways that could suit anybody. Thank you guys for sticking around. And since you did, it's only right that I lace up one lucky subscriber with a full fit, courtesy of Full Fit Larry. Brought to you by Private Selection. Make sure you comment your favorite silhouette down below. Tell me some of your favorite shoes, what you think is gonna be the hottest shoe going into 23. And at the end of the comment, leave a little FFL at the end, just so we know that you've entered. I'm gonna pick one of those people, lace you up with a full fit in your size, courtesy of us. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys next time, we out. shopping spree courtesy of home fam and private selection we need you to follow home fam on youtube as well as instagram then follow us and tag two friends in the comments the link to enter is in our bios so you and your best friend are going to fly to dallas and meet the goats of the sneaker industry they're going to pick you up from the airport they're going to take you off to dinner you're going to eat with these guys then they're going to bring you to the private selection where you can spend five thousand dollars any way you see fit you shop in a private selection, you can buy clothes, heck, you can even go to the food court if you want to. And on top of that, you get unlimited entries. And if you don't do that... Are you dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs>